understand the ESP that you have moved, sir. And uh, what we have over here is a market that is going to sit on two acres of land. Though the design that we are having over here is going to be painted on uh, half an acre, then after that, the, the other area for you not to be wasted will have different phases uh, subject to availability of funds. So this market, I know your excellency, most of the information is the typical design. What basically uh, happens is that this market will serve, uh, it serves 500 traders on a daily basis, which peaks to around 2,000 traders during market days. The market days for this particular market is on Mondays, Wednesdays, and uh, and, 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 sat, and the Fridays. So basically, the typical, whatever we are providing universal access, uh, providing a ramp that uh, will allow for uh, movement of traders moving their wares, and also, and, 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 uh, okay. then uh, basically these are the perspectives. Now, this, this particular market, what, what, what happens is that uh, it serves a, a number of uh, Wakati huu mheshimiwa rais atafungua maandishi ya kumbukumbu unveiling of the plague. Na sasa mheshimiwa rais ataweza kuvuja ardhi the ground breaking. Welcome your excellency. wale tuko mbele ya grader tusonge nyuma tafadhali Mheshimiwa Rais anavuja ardhi sasa The ground breaking let us appreciate his excellency kwa makofi Anaweka taratibu kwenye track Makofi mazuri ya Mheshimiwa Rais Wale tuko mbele ya grader tusonge kidogo nyuma tafadhali Makofi mazuri ya Mheshimiwa Rais baada ya kuvuja ardhi the ground breaking thank you your excellency
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hebu munisalimie hewani hivi nione watu wakangeka. Basi kwanza watu wakangeka mimi nataka niwashukuru sana kwa sababu ya kutukaribisha hapa nyumbani Igembe Central siku ya leo. Wacha mimi nichukue nafasi hii pia niwashukuru kwa sababu tuliomba kura zenu mkatupatia mkatuongezea maombi na sema asante sana. Na tulikubaliana na nyinyi ya kwamba tukimaliza uchaguzi kazi iendelee. Ama tulisemaje? Tulisema kazi iendelee. Ndio mimi nimefika hapa Meru jana na leo na kesho. Ndio tuweza kusukuma kazi iendelee. Si namna hiyo? Leo asubuhi nimekuwa kule kiutine kwa sababu katika hii constituency yenu tuko na barabara tatu ambayo lazima tutengeneze. Sio Ile barabara ya kiutine lazima tutengeneze na nimeamurisha ya kwamba iendelee. Si namna hiyo? Ile barabara ya Adero kwenda mpaka eh eh mpaka Kianja paka KK pole ile barabara ya kutoka Adiru kwenda KK tutengeneze na hii barabara yenu ya kutoka hapa kwenda mpaka Isiolo pia tuisangie barabara ya Kalimbene tutengeneze. Wale wanasema tutengeneze hiyo barabara nione. Basi. Vile vile. Mimi nimefika ngojea nyinyi vijana ngojea. Vile vile mimi nimefika hapa. Kwa sababu tulikubaliana na nyinyi ya kwamba biashara ya mama mboga na wafanyabiashara ni biashara kama biashara zingine. Si ndio? Ndiyo leo ni mimi nimefika hapa kwa sababu tunataka kupanga soko. Hapa Meru County tunajenga soko mpya tisa. Tumeweka karibu nusu bilioni 500 million shillings ya kujenga masoko hapa Meru County. Na ndio sababu hiyo mimi nimekuja kuanzisha ujenzi wa hii soko ya Kangeta. Hii soko yenu hapa tumeweka milioni hamsini ya kujenga hii soko ya hapa <coughs> Kangeta na tumekubaliana na huyu contractor sawa sawa hii soko nataka ikamilike ndani ya miezi sita peke yake soko imekamilika tumeelewana ndio wafanyabiashara waendelee na biashara tuweze kuzalisha uchumi na kila mtu afanye biashara yake Mahali kuna maji, mahali kuna stima, mahali kuna usafi na mahali ambapo biashara inaweza kwenda mbele bila ya matatizo. Tumeelewana jameni? Zile soko ingine tisa pia zitaanza kujengwa kwa sababu kabla ya mwisho huu wa mwaka huu tunataka soko tisa siwe tayari. Jana nilikuwa kule Kianjai, tunaanzisha soko ya Kianjai na vile vile tunaanzisha county aggregation and industrial park mahali mimi nimeweka milioni miambili hamsini na county government imeweka milioni miambili hamsini milioni tano tunataka tuhakikishe ya kwamba mazao yenu tunaweka pale processing facility tunaweka pale value addition tunaweka pale cold rooms ndio tuhakikishe kwamba mazao yenu inapangwa kwa njia ya sawa sawa mupate mapato zaidi kutoka mazao yenu na vile vile mpatie, mpatie sisi chakula na muweke pesa mfukoni tunaelewana jameni watu wa Kangeta tumeelewana tupange hiyo kazi isonge mbele vile vile mimi nimefika hapa kwa sababu tulikubaliana na nyinyi tupange ajira ya wa vijana tulikubaliana atukubaliana si tuko na vijana wengi mamilioni wamemaliza shule wako na certificate wako na diploma wako na degree lakini hawana kazi ni kweli ama si kweli kuna vijana katika mkutano huu wale vijana hawana kazi nione kwa mkono wale vijana hawana kazi 
Nyinyi vijana wote hamuna kazi. Si ni kweli? Kuna mpango tatu tumeweka tayari ya kupanga ajira hawa vijana. Mpango yetu ya kwanza ni mpango ya housing. Kwa sababu pale katika housing tunaweza kupanga vijana nusu milioni before the end of this year wapate ajira kwa sababu ni ya muhimu vijana wa taifa letu wapate ajira because unemployment poses an existential threat to the Republic of Kenya there is no greater public interest than the opportunity to create jobs for millions of the young people of our country who are out of school with certificates with diplomas and with degrees yet they don't have any meaningful income because they don't have any jobs ni kweli ama si kweli tupange ajira hawa vijana sio na ndio sababu hiyo serikali yetu makusudi tuliweka katika mpango yetu na manifesto yetu tukapeleka kwa wananchi wananchi wa Kenya wakapiga kura manifesto yetu ikapita ili tuweze kupanga ajira ya wa vijana kupitia mpango wa housing nimeenda bunge tumepeleka sheria bunge imepitisha budget imepitisha sheria ya kujenga manyumba na ndio sababu hiyo tumeanzisha ujenzi wa manyumba meru hii nimekuja tangu jana kesho nitakuwa hapa meru tunataka kujenga phase one tujenge nyumba elfu kumi hapa Meru tuajiri vijana elfu ishirini. Mimi nauliza nyinyi watu wa Meru tuendelee na hiyo kazi. Si tupange ajira hawa vijana. Tuendelee na mpango wa housing. Ndio tupange ajira hawa vijana. Mpango ya housing itatupatia ajira. Tunahitaji architect, quantity surveyors, engineers, masons, carpenters, electricians steel fixers watu wa kufanya kazi kule kwa kampuni ya simiti watu wa kufanya kazi huko kwa kampuni ya chuma watu wa kufanya kazi kwari kokoto na mawe watu wa kufanya kazi kwa mjengo tayari tuko na vijana 1130 wanaofanya kazi kwa mpango ya housing kufikia sasa in the last one year na kabla ya mwisho wa mwaka huu tutakuwa na vijana 1300 watakao wanafanya kazi katika hii mpango ya housing. Housing iendelee isiendelee. Iendelee isiendelee. Tupange ajira hawa vijana. Tupange ajira hawa vijana. Mimi nataka niwaambie wale wameenda kotini ati kuzuia hii mpango ya housing. I want to tell them there is no greater public interest than the employment of millions of citizens who for a long time have never had an opportunity to work in their country because there has been no plan on how to employ young people in Kenya for the first time the government of Kenya through a popular vote in our manifesto have a plan on how to create jobs in Kenya through the housing program and i want to say for the avoidance of doubt that the housing program is the program that is going to give us jobs in manufacturing in our cement industry in manufacturing in our steel industry in ensuring that carpenters architects engineers masons um steel fixers people working in construction sites have a job our plan is to have 300,000 people working by the end of this year our plan is that we already have 130,000 people working in this plan mimi nataka niwaulize watu wa meru si hawa vijana ni vijana wetu si tumewasomesha tuwapangie ajira tusiwapangie housing hii mnataka iendelee ama tusimamishe iendelee wale wanasema iendelee nione kwa mkono kwa hivyo mimi nataka niwaambie wale watu wachache wameenda kotini kwa sababu wamezoea Kenya yenye haina mpango i want to tell the people who have gone to court many of them have jobs many of them their children have jobs they want to deny the opportunity for millions of young people from poor families citizens kenyans young people who have never had a chance to work they want to deny them an opportunity i want to tell them we are on a mission to make sure that we create equity and equality in the republic of kenya by avoiding by avoiding every young person an opportunity to work
Tuko pamoja ama tuko pamoja? Tunaelewana? I want to say for the avoidance of doubt, we are already making the law that the court authorized that we go and make the law. They should have given us a chance to complete the law. But we are going to complete the law and we are going to go forward with making sure that we create opportunities for jobs for the young people of our country because that is what the people of Kenya want. That is the right thing to do and that is where public interest is. Tumekubaliana jameni? Tunaelewana? Tuko pamoja ama tuko pamoja? Kuna watu wananiambia wameenda kotini ati tusimamishe ajira ya hawa vijana. Na wao wako na ajira. Bibi zao wako na kazi. Watoto wao wako na kazi. Ni makosa kupanga ajira ya hawa vijana maskini hapa chini? Ah, hawa waache mchezo bwana. Hii kazi itaendelea. Iendelee isiendelee? Iendelee isiendelee? Wale wanasema mpango ya housing iendelee kuzalisha ajira ya vijana. That is the message in public participation from Meru County. Tumeelewana jameni? Tumeelewana? Tunasonga mbele? Mimi nataka wambie vile vile mimi nimefika hapa vile vile kwa sababu tunataka kukubaliana na nyinyi. Ya kwamba tayari tuko na mpango ya, hau, ya mambo ya universal health coverage. Na tulikubaliana ya kwamba bado kuna wananchi wengi wanauza mali yao. Mtu anauza ngombe, mtu anauza shamba kwenda kulipa bili ya hospitali. Ni kweli ama si kweli? Na tulisema ya kwamba ili kuondoa hiyo kisirani ya kuuza mali lazima tubadilishe sheria ya mambo ya matibabu. Hawa wabunge wenu akiwemo kali hapa wamepitisha sheria. Wamepitisha sheria kule bunge. Sheria ine ambayo itatusaidia kuhakikisha ya kwamba hakuna mkenya tena atauza mali yake, atauza ploti yake, atauza ngombe yake atikwenda kulipa bila hospitali. Sasa tuko na hazina maalum ambayo italipa gharama ya magonjwa yote. Hasa magonjwa yale ya kansa, diabetes na hypertension. Nyinyi mnanielewa jameni? Na tulikubaliana hapa ya kwamba tutapunguza pia gharama ya NHIF. Wale mnalipa shilingi 500 tulikubaliana na nyinyi tutawapunguzia ikuje shilingi 300. Nyinyi mnanielewa? Na wale wananchi ambao hawana uwezo. Si kuna wananchi hawana uwezo wa kulipa? Kabisa wale wako chini. Sheria mpya ya Kenya inasema hawa ambao hawawezi walipiwe na serikali ya Kenya. Ili kila mwananchi awe na bima ya afya. Mnataka iendelee namna hiyo? Tulipia wale ambao hawana uwezo. Tupunguze kutoka 500 mpaka 300 na tuwe na hasina ya kulipa ile magonjwa magumu magumu. Wale wanasema tuendelee namna hiyo hiyo kwa mkono. Tumekubaliana kangeta? Tumekubaliana? Tuendelee. Mimi vile vile nimefika hapa kwa sababu tuko na nyumba ya DC hapa tunaenda kufungua ili huduma ya wananchi mali unaweza kutafuta ID, mali unaweza kwenda kutafuta title deed, mali ya kazi ile ingine yote ipatikane hapa mali karibu. Na nimekubali ya kwamba tuanzishe county sub county ingine kule eh, Kiengo na nimeweka pesa huko milioni ishirini tujenge ofisi yetu ndio wananchi wapate mahali ya kutafuta huduma ya serikali. Ama mnasemaje watu wa Meru? Tumekubaliana? Tumekubaliana watu wa Meru? Kanjai tumekubaliana? Hebu niwele wale wanasema tumekubaliana hiyo kazi iendelee. Sawa sawa. So mimi sitaki kusema sana. Mimi nimefurahi kufika hapa. Mimi niko Meru hii jana, leo na kesho. Na mimi nimekuja hii Meru na nimekuja na blanketi mimi na mtu ya kulala hapa. Nikilala hapa iko makosa? Mnataka nilale kwa nani? Eh? Ndalala kwa nani? Eh naona kuna mrembo pale amesema nilale kwake. <laughs> Ndio? Lakini tuko pamoja sio? Tumeshirikiana? Twende mbele. Nyinyi watu wa hapa kanga, eh, Kangeta na watu wa hapa Meru. Mimi nataka niwashukuru jameni. Nyinyi ni wazalendo wa kulima. Mimi nimetembea hii Meru nimefurahi. Nimeona mashamba imejaa mahindi na imejaa chakula. Nyinyi ni watu ambao muko na akili na nyinyi ni mashujaa. 
na nyinyi ni wazalendo kwa sababu tulisema ya kwamba na miraa wewe sasa sasa huyu mtu unaona unaona hii dunia vile iko sasa huyu mtu ananiharakisha sasa wewe boss sasa wewe unaniharakisha nani amekuambia mimi niko na haraka si anipeleke pole pole ama namna gani si nimeamua na lala hapa sasa haraka ni ya nini si ndio tuendelee pole pole mimi nataka niwaambie hivi mimi nawashukuru sana mwaka uliopita niliwaeleza ya kwamba njia ya kupunguza gharama ya chakula njia ya kupunguza eh, gharama ya chakula Kenya ni kusaidia mkulima tuzalishe chakula zaidi ndio aibu ya njaa itoke Kenya ni kweli ama si kweli na ndio sababu yetu ya kwanza tulichukua hatua ya kupunguza gharama ya mbolea kutoka ile 1600 sasa tunauza mbolea 2500 na, na nimemwambia Medeka Linturi ambaye yuko hapa kwa sababu yeye ndio waziri wetu wa mambo ya kilimo next week tunataka hii masto yote iwe imejaa mbolea ya bei ya chini ndio hawa wakulima waweze kwenda hudi shambani tuzalishe chakula tufukuze njaa katika taifa letu la Kenya si ni kweli ati kuna watu wengine wanavaa sufuria kwa kichwa ati ndio bei ya unga ikuje chini mtu yakaangeta nikuulize ukiweka sufuria kwa be, kichwa bei ya unga itashuka chini sio ni ujinga ama ni ukumbavu ama yote mbili Sijui kama tunaelewana. Tuko pamoja? Kuna watu wanafikiri ati chakula inatoka kwa maduka. Chakula inatoka kwa maduka ama inatoka shambani? Si tukitoa shambani chakula ndio chakula itapatikana kwa wingi. Ndio bei ishuke. Ndio kila mtu akue na chakula. Hiyo ndio mpango yetu na mimi nataka niwahakikishie <coughs> tutaenda pamoja. Mimi nitarudi hapa. Hapa hapa nyambene. Kwa sababu hapa nyambene tumeweka milioni mia saba kujenga KCC. Na hiyo KCC tunataka kutumia kwa wale wakulima wa maziwa. Mimi nimesema kuanzia mwezi wa tatu tarehe moja. Bei ya maziwa itatoka shilingi 30 mpaka shilingi hamsini kwa lita moja. Ndio wakulima hawa waweke pesa kwa mfuko. Tunaelewana jameni? Na hiyo kungojea miezi mbili tatu tumekubaliana itakuwa inalipwa vile mshahara ya mfanyikazi inalipwa. Mwezi ikiisha mtu anahama na pesa yake. Sijui kama tunaelewana. Tuko pamoja nyambene. Tuko pamoja. Mnasema tusonge mbele. Wale wanasema tuendelee, tusiendelee. Tuendelee. Bas. Mimi nafurahi sana kufika hapa. Tumekubaliana mambo yenu ya barabara. Huyu mjumbe wenu pia aliniuliza mambo ya stima. Akaniambia ya kwamba hapa kuna matatizo ya stima bado kuna sehemu iko giza. Ni kweli ama si kweli? Sasa sikizeni watu wa Kangeta na sikizeni watu wa Igembe Central. Hapa kwenu Meru mzima tumeweka bilioni moja na laki mbili pesa ya stima kufikisha stima kwa manyumba na mbili hapa Meru County. Na huyu kali nimemwambia ya kwamba <coughs> nimemwambia hapa Igembe Central. Sawa sawa. Hapa Igembe Central tunataka watu elfu ine ambao tutawaengea stima manyumbani kwao tuko na milioni mia tatu ya kufanya hiyo kazi mwaka huu. Tumesema na tunataka kujua ni mahali gani ndio bado iko giza. Ndio tupeleke stima huko, tuweke mwangaza, ndio tukiweka mwangaza shetani ahame. <coughs> si mimi nasikia ati shetani anapenda mahali iko giza. Situhakishe mata. Kuwe na mwangaza. Ndio shetani ahame. Awaje kutusumbua. Ama namna gani jameni. Tuko pamoja. So ninawapenda sana. Na nyinyi si mnajua mimi niko na mungwana tunafanya kazi na yeye. Ananisaidia hii kibarua kusukuma? Anaitwa nani? Anaitwa Rigiji. Awasalimie. Aya Rigadi Gashagwa, Deputy President, awasalimie.
Toka geta murega. Nenye mumereto ya uguo. Kuona mudhamaki o wito. Manena amadu tirago vya. Tumeshukuru sana watu ya kengeta kufika hapa na rais wetu. Na munajua tulikuwa hapa. Tukimuliza nyinyi kwa heshima. Mutuombe na mutupatie kura. Tupata na fazi ya ongozi. Na mulifanya hivyo. Na sisi tumekuja kusema asanti. Kurudisha shukurani. Na kurudisha mkono. Kati guo. Rais hako hapa katika county hii ya Meru. Siku tatu kwa mambo ya maendeleo. Na hasa hapa igembe sentro mambo yenu hiko sawasawa. Muna jua tulipokuwa hapa. Muli muambia rais hakipata na fazi ya uongozi. Aangalie mambo ya meraa. Sini kweli? Na rais kitu ya kwanza alifanya. Waziri wa kilimo. Ambaya na shugulikia kilimo ikuemo miraa. Ni mtoto wenu medheka lenturi. Sini yo? Nyinyi pia muka muomba rais. Mukasema mungetaka kwa sababu ya soko ya meraa. Akipata na fasi ya uongozi. Atavutia nyinyi mtoto hapa igembe. Akue balozi kwa ile nchi ambaye inanunua meraa. Na nyinyi watu ya igembe sentro raiza napenda nyinyi. Kwa sababu mweshimiwa kubai keringo diyo balozi katika nchi ya Somalia. Na kwa hivyo nyinyi muko mbele. Muko na mjumbe huyu karido na muko na keringo kubai. Ida tiguo? Inyo mwe bereta muko wa ashati. Sindio? Mukapata mjumbe na mukapata balozi. Si huyu raiza metenda nyinyi vizuri. Ni amoro na tewega? Ni amoro na tewega? Na hiyo maneno ya barabara mumesema raiza tapanga. Mambo ya DCC raiza tapanga. Ata mambo ya usalama. Ile maneno ilikuwa hapa ya wizi wa ngombe. Iyo mambo imepangwa na imepangika. Kwa hivyo sisi tunauliza watu ya igebe sentro. Muendele kuunga raisi mukono. Mutaunga ye mukono? Ni moko mwenye itabaru? Uyu karitho mumekubali ya kaya karibu na raisi? Awachana na manana ya ila watu ya zamani? Wangabi wanasema karitho wa kaya na raisi na mimi? Mungetaka hakuja chama yetu? Mungetaka hakuja chama yetu? Ile ya yudi ye? Arabe! 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 We mweshimu wa karitho umesikia? Awa wagwana wamekuandika kazi, wanasema ukuje, ukaye na rais na mimi kwa UDS. Tumekubiga? Tumekubaliana? Asante ni sana watu ya igembe, mwenye zimungu wa mbariki. Asante sana. Asante sana, asante sana. Asante sana. Ngoja kwanza bwana tafadhali. Ngoo. Asante sana. Haya haya haya. Haya haya haya. Tosha hiyo, tosha hiyo. Anto baka angeta bwana Yesu asifiwe. Anto baka angeta we. Anto baka angeta we. Wa islamu wa salamu alaikum. Asante sana. Mweshimu wa rais. Wanja mwori ya Kenya. Aso la mwenzangu. Dr. William Ruto. Makamu wa rais wetu mpendo wa kachagua. Biongozi wote walieko hapa, ngavana na mawaziri na wabunge, na watu watukufu. Bwana Yesu na kumwe. Tukumye Yesu Kristo. Mweshimua Rais, na kushukuru sana kwa nafasi hii na kwa siku hii nzuri ambayo umeamua kutambelea ndani ya Egembe Centro. Sisi hapa, atu ya kuona Raisi mwingine ambayo ametupenda kama wewe na hamejitolea kutufanya kazi. Na tunakushukuru sana kwa kazi nzuri ambayo umeamua kutufanyia. Na tunakuhakikishia sisi tuko na wewe kindete. Mheshimiwa Rais, kwanza kabisa hawa ambao wanapeleka peleka serikali yetu mahakamani, unajua sisi ni watu wa kufanya kazi mara moja. 
hata ungetuambia kata mtu hapo tunakata tu tunamaliza biashara kwa sababu sisi hatutaki serikali yetu ipingwe katika miradi ya maendeleo hawa vijana wote wanataka ajira ya kazi hawa vijana wote wanataka eh, wapate huduma ya hospitali mtu mwenye anapinga hiyo si ni shetani huyo si ni shetani sisi tunaunga rais wetu mkono kupinga watu kama hao si tunamuunga mkono kupiga vita watu kama hao Asante sana. Mimi nimeongea na Mheshimiwa Rais na tumekubaliana barabara ya Kalimbene e Gwalami. Ito kwa tanela. Ne 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 ngaseta ni tayare kolitorango e ngoja kwanza bwana wewe. Ne tayare kolitorango e ngazetine ne kalitorango e na boko na maendeleo. Ita wasa bantu beto. Kole anto bamo bali na vitina. Kole anto bali na vitina. Bakuate, bakuate, inda wele zoku ya ngombe ka umaraye ta kalimbene. Pauni arongo, isa asawa? Arongo, bala ba abrongo, asa wako la kelea, ita tansanyo, no wopareko? Kwe morongo mwe, kwe morongo mwe, nda amathele angu wate kwenka kerengo. Alo? Kwe morongo mwe, nda amathele angu wate kwenka kerengo, no yo norongo wareko? Lakini tunayenga isoko, raisi ya mesema ndani ya mesisita, itakuwa tayari. Ikiwa tayari tunaingia kwa soko yetu watu wa ngombe wanaendelea kukaa katika section yao. Isa wa sawa? Rais amesema maendeleo yale ataleta na yote mumesikia. Na nina imani ataendelea kuleta. Na sisi tumekubaliana. Tumekubaliana ni unge serikali ya ruto mkono ni sawa sawa ni sawa sawa arambe arambe mwishimua rais sisi ni watu wakusema na kutenda sisi habana watu wakusungu wasunguka hivi mimi nilikuwa kwa wale watu wakubwa sifuria kwa kichwa lakini nikaoni ile sifuria kubwa kwa kichwa hakuna mtu watashiba na tunakushukuru sana ewe unari umambo ewe na tukaona tukaamua kurundi kwako na nashukuru sana waziri wetu wa Angrigacha. Kwa kazi nzuri amefanya ametuletea fertilizer, mashamba yote tumepanda. Ya mwisho mheshimiwa rais, mimi ni aso la wetondo. Mimi ndio mbunge pekee yake ambaye anauza miraa. Kenya mzima hata naongea na wenzangu kule mbungeni wasagesage kidogo.